Algebra 1, Unit 2B Study Guide, Numbers 10, 11, and 12. So we're going to solve each of these inequalities and then graph the solution to show a picture of the answer. So we look at what's happening to x on number 10. 25 is being subtracted, so we're going to do the opposite. We're going to add 25 to both sides, just like we would if it were an equation. So we'd get x is less than negative 7 plus 25 is 18. So our answer is, is all the numbers less than 18. So the way I would graph that is I would make a quick scale by putting positive 18 and negative 18 and a 0. Since x is going to represent our shaded area, I'm going to put an open circle at 18 and show everything that's less than 18. So that's my shaded area. On number 11, <clears throat> x is being divided by negative 4, so to do the opposite, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 4. When I multiply or divide by a negative, I need to reverse my inequality, so now this will become greater than or equal to. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. So now I need to show everything that's greater than or equal to positive 8. So I'll put a closed circle on 8 and then my shaded area is everything that's greater than 8. On number 12, let's look at it and find the error. So it looks like the first thing we would need to do is to add 5 to both sides. And it looks like that that happened. And then the next thing would be to divide by 2. When you divide by 2, you would have x is less than negative 8 divided by 2, which is negative 4. You're dividing by a positive, so you would not need to switch your inequality. So now I'm going to rewrite that with the x on the left side. So the inequality is going to follow the variable. And then to show everything that is less than negative 4, I'll make a quick number line, put an open circle at negative 4, and then draw my arrow of everything that's less than negative 4.